Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here. Now recently, Stone Age Gamer started handling order fulfillment for Humble Bazooka. This company makes a lot of really cool products, including some really nice 3D printed stands and covers and things to that effect. So I thought it would be really nice to take a little rundown on the kinds of things that we carry from Humble Bazooka that you can buy on our site right now. Let's take a look. All right, first up we have a Sega Saturn. You know, if you are a fan or owner of a Sega Saturn, you probably know that it's got this little door on the back here to, um, oops, <laughs> that's where uh, the, the battery goes uh, for saving the clock time and whatnot. So let's say you're missing this guy. You've got a Saturn, but it's got a giant gaping hole in the back that you want to find a cover for. Well, Humble Bazooka makes these. They are 3D printed versions of the existing door, and they come for the uh, white Saturn, the gray Japanese Saturn, and the black Saturns. These should fit pretty much any model. Uh, you see it's, it's got a slightly different texture on the top of it, but it fits, it covers it, and if it fits, it ships, right? That's the word. Look at that. Looks good as new. How cool is that? And your Saturn is once again whole. Okay, next let's talk about the Humble Virtual Boy. Now, uh, Virtual Boy games are pretty expensive, and people who collect them, like me, uh, like to have neat displays of them. So, let's start basic. Let's say you've got a copy of Nestor's Funky Bowling. You're missing the little uh, sleeve on the bottom. Humble Bazooka makes these. And they come in a variety of colors, and they're basically replacement uh, little cartridge sleeves. Just, just like the ones that Nintendo makes, except these say Virtual Boy on them, and they come in a variety of cool colors, including red. I like the red a lot because it's, well, it's Virtual Boy. Everything's red in Virtual Boy, right? I think that's pretty neat. But let's say, uh, let's, let's put purple on there just, just for funsies. Let's say you actually want to display your cartridge uh, rather than just store it and keep it safe. Let's say you've got a loose copy of Wario Land. These exist. Let me grab them. Here we go. These are Virtual Boy cartridge stands. So you just kind of slip the card, the cartridge right in there, just like you would one of these little guys. But now it stands up all on its own. And uh, this makes a really nice, a uh, really nice display. You can get them in a multitude of colors. Uh, but let's say you want to go one step further, and you have uh, a copy of Jack Brothers complete in the box, and you really want to display this thing, right? So we're going to take our little. Uh, original cover off here put that to the side and we're going to use this guy this is a cartridge and box stand and this works not just for uh the boxes on their own but even if the boxes are in uh box protectors like this they just slide right in the back there and ta-da they make a really nice presentation and uh, you can line a bunch of them up on your shelves and they look super cool and that's a really nice way of displaying your virtual boy games Last but not least, let's look at some Atari stuff. Now this is the Lynx Model 2. And this battery cover is, uh, if you find Lynx Model 2's laying around, chances are, uh, there's a good chance that you're missing this guy right here. Uh, this is a weird battery cover. It's got this little foam bit on the inside and this, this ridged bit right here. But if you have a Lynx and you're missing the battery cover, well, Humble Bazooka makes this one, I really like this one. Uh, first off, it's got it's a darker black, so it matches the screen part of it right here. Uh, it says Lynx on it, which I think is cool, and I just think it feels nicer than this uh, wacky ridged one. It's also it's a lot easier to take on and off than the ridged one. Um, it's got this uh, this these markings right here, just like the original one. So if you want to put the foam in there to kind of help keep your batteries in place you can just get a piece of foam and stick it on in there but otherwise you can just use this guy and um, it looks really nice on the bottom of a Lynx. Uh, but speaking of Atari systems that are named after cats uh, there's a couple of cool Atari Jaguar things as well so here is the controller and you may notice a red bit up here uh, they make these really cool controller protectors um, inside here you got all these little pins inside of the Atari thing uh, the, the controller port and you can just put these caps on top of them to keep them protected uh, while you have them in storage which is pretty nice and they look really cool too because they're a pretty uh, dead ringer for the red on the buttons which uh, looks nice. On to the system itself. Now the Atari Jaguar is well I guess it's not completely unique among Atari platforms because they tended to do this a lot but the cartridge slot is just wide open here so <laughs> dust and well, whatever really, but dust in general just gets right into that cartridge slot. I don't know why, like the Atari 2600 was the same way, and I don't know why. It seems like putting a cartridge flap on that should be uh, the most obvious thing in the world. Well, 
Humble Bazooka to the rescue with the Atari Jaguar cartridge slot protector. Sticks right in there, and it sticks in, all right? See, it's not flopping out or anything. Uh, and it looks really nice. There's a big bright Jaguar logo on it right there. Just kind of keeps your system all nice and protected, and whenever you're ready to play some games, it comes right out. So like, like I said, it doesn't... It's... That sticks. It just kind of it, it slides in with enough pressure to keep it from going anywhere, but it's nice and easy to take out whenever you are ready. But what if you have, and I know you probably do, right? What if you have one of these beasts, right? You don't need to protect that cartridge slot. You need to protect this cartridge slot. And this one, well, that's just not going to do the trick. Fortunately, this exists. Yes, they make one for the Jaguar CD as well. And look at that. I'm. I mean, I'm not gonna shake this thing around too much. Jaguar CDs are already hard enough to get in working order, but look at that, it looks, <laughs> I really like this one a lot. I think I like the black a little bit better than the red. It's just really, really sleek looking, but there you go. It uh, does its thing, and that is, uh, that's just a couple of the products that Humble Bazooka makes that can keep your uh, collectibles looking even cooler. Various products like these from Humble Bazooka are available now at StoneAgeGamer.com. So head on over to the site and pick out what you like. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, subscribe, share, and let us know what kind of products you would like to see Humble Bazooka make and have us carry in the future. Um, they make a lot of really cool things, and those little covers, I like the covers for the Jaguar. Those, those made me really happy. Anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody. On behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer, keep playing games.